From a cappella groups to jazz combos, there are many ways for students to get involved in music on Northwestern's campus. As per the Northwestern motto, and is in our DNA, many students decide to pursue completely differing avenues of education simultaneously. This ideology resides in every member of the group you see pictured here. This is the Northwestern non-major symphony orchestra, the Philharmonia. Conducted by Dr. Robert G. Hasty, this group of musicians performs challenging pieces year-round. The one thing that all of the performers have in common? None of them are performance majors. Yeah, I'm Michael. Um, I'm a sophomore um, economics major. Hey, Michael. Um, how long have you been in Philharmonia? So this will be my third quarter, but I started freshman year, so I kind of took a break between uh, freshman and sophomore year. And what instrument do you play? Uh, I play violin. Uh, I've been playing since I was six, so like music and playing in an orchestra has been like a huge part of my life. How did you hear about Philharmonia? Um, I knew about Philharmonia going in, like it was the non-major orchestra, so I, I was interested before coming. What do you enjoy about Philharmonia? Like what, what do you think, like what's fun to you about being in? I think it's, it's special because it is all non-majors, so um, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's a chill orchestra and also um, Especially because, um, like most non-major orchestras at universities, are taught or conducted by grad students, and we have like a like a faculty like member, um, Dr. Hasty. So that that's it's just that's a unique experience. Non-major doesn't mean non-talented, though, as these pieces are demanding. For their spring concert, the Philharmonia is performing pieces such as Dichter und Bauer, or Poet and Peasant, Overture by Suppe, Scottish Fantasy Opus 46 by Brook, and four dance episodes from Rodeo by Copeland. I'm uh, Hugo Belisario. I'm a junior and study economics and statistics. Yeah, I started on the violin when I was eight, and I transitioned into viola um, probably in seventh grade, and I've been playing uh, both of them ever since, but mostly on the viola. What do you like about the Philharmonia? Uh, it gives me a chance to keep playing. Um, I was a former Beatin student. Uh, I just wanted an opportunity to keep playing and you know, uh, keep those skills that I've acquired over all those years of practicing and uh, rehearsing and, all, and preparing uh, you know, to be a great violist. So I just want to you know, um, keep it loose, keep it going, and um, this is a great opportunity because it's not that time consuming. Um, and the people are great here and they under, they're pretty understand, understanding of uh, you know, our situations as a uh, other majors and playing an instrument. Do you have one like like a fun memory you have from being in Philharmonia or like the people from the group? Yeah, I'd probably say uh, building on a relationship with the conductor, uh, Robert Hasty. I had him as a, my conductor for uh, Northwestern's chamber orchestra when I was in Beenan. And he conducts this orchestra, so it's great to keep working with him because I really enjoyed uh, doing that when I was in uh, the music school. The students in Philharmonia recognize the asset they have in their conductor, Dr. Robert G. Hasty. As well as conducting the Philharmonia, Dr. Hasty serves as music director of the Kenosha Symphony Orchestra and Skokie Valley Symphony Orchestra, and is the principal conductor of the Highland Park Strings. Hasty derives great joy from conducting students of all backgrounds and musical abilities, and he is no stranger to performance himself. Dr. Hasty has also spent his career as a freelance violinist. Word on the street is, you can find him fiddling in several Chicagoland clubs and venues with various local bands. My name is Searsha Lee. I'm a third year student and I'm studying music education and legal studies. Have you played like clarinet or any oboe adjacent instruments? Yeah, I do. Actually, I like do a lot of doubling. Um, so I play like clarinet and saxophone as well. Oboe's probably, yeah, it's like the one I've played the longest. Um, it's like closest to my heart, but I, I like all of them. So Searsha, what do you enjoy or appreciate about Philharmonia? Yeah, I really like, I mean, coming from someone who wasn't always sure they wanted to do music and always had interests outside of music, um, it's really cool to be surrounded by people who do that too, who have 
been studying other things or do other things, um, but are still like love music enough to come together and do it in this setting. I think that's really fun and I really appreciate that. Do you have like a funny moment that you can recall from like your time in Philharmonia or like a time that you spent with people from Philharmonia or just anything like that, like good experiences? Yeah, um, oh, there's been like a lot and I'm glad there's like, I have kind of made friends through doing this. Um, so like, spending time with them is really fun. Um, the funny story I always tell was recently the oboe has to tune the orchestra and in rehearsal the other day there's like a kind of how you calibrate the tuner so that you tune the same note every single like the exact same note every single time and I just like accidentally bumped the calibrate like calibration button just a little bit but I tuned and like everyone was so out of tune and I was like oh my god what's going on and then I looked and I could see it was off and I was like oh my god but I'd already started so I just kind of tuned everyone like a little bit sharp that day. I was too nervous to like stop because we were like halfway through before I realized it. I was like, it's too late. Like, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was pretty fun. <laughs> the Philharmonia traditionally performs in Pick Steger Concert Hall, which utilizes a combination of stage and sound panels to create the ideal orchestral soundscape. This, combined with the tiered seating in the auditorium, provides audience members with an immersive listening experience. With the biggest factor influencing the listening experience being contingent upon the players in the orchestra, it is quite astounding that the Philharmonia can put on a show-stopping concert every quarter, with possibly new members and with each member having many priorities outside of the music school. But because of their shared passion for music, they are able to go from this to this. The Philharmonia proves that no matter what is going on, music always has the power to bring people together. Thanks for watching.